Hi everyone, it's Perry here and this is Memory Box. And I have a terrible memory, so this is going to be interesting. Oh! Oh! There's actually really cute stuff in here. I don't know what I was expecting. The first memory I've picked up. Little Mix, Fun Moments at the Brits. So this was such a beautiful evening. Leanne and I were pregnant with our bubbas and we won an award. We won best group, I believe, if my memory is right. That year for the award, you got like a mini award with the award and you could gift it to somebody. And Leanne and I decided we were gonna gift it to our bubbas when they were old enough to know what a Brit award is. <laughs> but it was such a fun night, I loved it. I loved being pregnant, it was so nice. <laughs> First Halloween with Axel. <laughs> well, the first one we actually dressed up. It was a last minute thing. I was panicking. I was in mum panic mode thinking, what are we going to dress as? And then I just went on Amazon and bought some random bits and it ended up being really good. So we were Ratatouille. I was the chef, but he was the rat. We've actually already decorated for Halloween, which is pretty tragic we're always early we're early for christmas we're early for halloween but axel was so into it this year because he's like three now and he's kind of into the spookiness which i love okay wait, wait. most memorable game with alex maybe like when we first started dating each other it was like exciting to see what he did i think i just didn't really understand what it was like and the atmosphere at a football game. I guess it was Arsenal. Yeah, it would have been Arsenal. It was just epic and it was so much fun. And I think he got mad of the match. What else is in here? You are a glittery goddess in tears. Oh, I thank you. This is a glitter stick. Oh, this looks fun. Glitter from the Tears music video was actually the bane of my life. I was finding it in crevices that I didn't even know I had for weeks after because I was literally I was in a spray tent and cast my makeup artist and as my hairstylist just literally smothered me in glitter like I was eating gritty glitter and yeah it was probably in all my crevices for ages but it was worth it because it looked pretty tears I absolutely love because it's very old school it's like timeless it's like got that nice groove to it which i love i was raised with a lot of motown in our household and i think it's kind of got a little nod to that my biggest style inspiration i would say is Cher. like Cher, when she had her own tv show and she used to come out in these numbers and she'd strip off into another number like she is the icon ah oh, what's this is this supposed to be in here we were literally talking about this on the way here in the car. So musicals are like my favourite thing ever. I was literally talking about it today on the way here, so that is so weird. Wicked is my favourite. Tina, I absolutely loved as well. Like, it was so cool. And at the end of Tina, it's like a concert, so it's really fun. I think if I was to be in a musical, my dream is to be in like a movie musical, like The Greatest Showman or like Moulin Rouge or something like that would be like my dream. This is random. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking Wasabi Peas. I don't get it, but it says, is Wasabi the best Little Mix song? Wasabi's definitely up there, but I love Touch and I love Shout Out To My Ex. So Wasabi's definitely up there with one of the best Little Mix songs. Brum brum. Inspo for you go your way. I seem to be doing a car theme in a lot of things. I don't know why. I guess the car is the journey. <laughs> I love hiding Easter eggs. It's like one of my favorite things. I hide them everywhere. Any opportunity I can, even when I'm not supposed to, I'm like, tee lol. But I do love it. And I think things like single decisions and things like that kind of come naturally. I think it just feels like what is, what's instinctive, like what feels good. And then it just so happens that with the three singles, it kind of was like a little timeline of my life, I guess, or a, ti a time in my life. Um, so yeah, it kind of made sense to put them three together. But Yugo, you're always like my favorite of my children, I think. It's one of my favorites. Can I say that? Yeah, sure, why not? When did you first know you could sing? Mm. I used to love these. No. Can I keep this? <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Axel, he'll love this. It'll drive me crazy, but I think he'll love it. Um, when did I realize I could sing? I think growing up with two parents as singers, 
I thought it was just normal. I just thought it was something that everyone did. We're like the Von Trapps. We all sing, so I just grown up thought that was normal. So I guess it just kind of was just there, maybe? I've definitely carried on the singing in the family because Axel loves to sing. Like he's obsessed with performing. He sings the music bit, like the instrumental, I can't explain it, but he'd be like, -na 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 -na. a hungry house and do what's right, but eat it. Like he does all the effects and everything, like he takes it really seriously. And that makes me a proud mummy. He actually sang me to sleep the other night which was the cutest thing ever. He was singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. He was singing One Little Speckled Frog. He was singing Spidey and His Amazing Friends. He was just singing like the whole catalog and it was so cute. Being a dog mama, Hatchie taught me responsibility. So I got Hatchie and he was a little ball of fluff and I didn't think it was possible to love something so much, but I just, like, you know, you one of them and I just love him so much and I think he taught me to be a mom. He's just a legend like so many people in my life are like when I come back I want to come back as Hatchie because he has the best life ever. I gave him a full body massage yesterday, stretched him out, got him like you know oh, oh, give him a little scratch and all that oh I just adore him so much. Your iconic hair bandera during X Factor days. I wouldn't say iconic, I would say questionable. Also that day when I was about to audition, my mom dragged me into the bathroom and back combed all my hair because she's an 80s chick and she thought that would be cute. When I look back now, I'm like, mm, I don't know, but the headbands were so in. So I feel like now I probably wouldn't wear them, but I did love a headband. Lastly, well, second to last, a favorite memory from your childhood. Well, my mom was like, always let's move all the furniture, let's do cartwheels, let's do it. Like she was very fun grown up so those are like my best memories I would say. My mom definitely carries that through with Axel because she's just so fun like the two of them together. They're not like Nana and baby they're like siblings I can't explain it but they like bicker they have their little moments together and then they like come up with like ideas we're gonna go out we're gonna do this and I'm like okay like they're pretty chaotic but in the best way. Last in the box is it says write a letter to future Perry which is quite cute. Gorgeous girlies shine the brightest. Shall I actually write it now? Oh, I like this. Okay, dear Perry, just a little note. Feels so weird writing and not text. Where's my predictive text one I needed? Okay, to let you know, you did it. With the fear, with the fear, with the pressure, you did it. And you had fun doing it. Lovely. And a big love heart and a kiss. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that took me back. That was a blast from the past with all of those memories. But I absolutely loved that. Yay. I used to love this. Ooh. This is hard.